AMD FSR 2.0 has been released for Deathloop, so we're taking a look here at no upscaling FSR version 1 and FSR version 2 running on Steam Deck to see what difference it makes here. If you're wondering what FSR stands for, it's AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, shortened to FSR to make it a bit less of a mouthful. So let's start off with no upscaling at all. This is running on medium to high settings to see what difference this makes. And we can see that with medium to high, we're bouncing around the 30 to 40 frames per second and the frame times between 20 and 30. However, it does not feel very nice when you're in these action sequences. It does feel a bit jerky, even though the frame rates and frame times seem fairly stable. You do see that frame time start creeping up, especially with the guns and it really just didn't feel as responsive, hence I died quite quickly here. So let's try the original AMD Fidelity FX Super Res version 1. So all of these were on quality mode on the upscaling as well when it was enabled. And we can see that that frame time and FPS isn't actually that much difference. However, the image is considerably more blurry. Now, it doesn't look as bad on the actual Steam Deck screen itself, but if you're looking at a slightly larger picture with this blown up, you do notice that blurriness a little bit more. Once again, it doesn't look too bad on the FPS and frame time count, but it just did feel a little bit off. Once again, as we start getting into the action sequences, that frame time does bounce around a little bit, getting a fair few spikes with the GPU maxing out. Putting this on all medium will probably stabilize this a bit, but we did want to push it to the limits here. So let's switch over to the AMD FSR 2.0. Now what you'll notice is straight away that the FPS does jump up a little bit. The frame time seems to be around the same. However, the blurriness is all but gone. So although it doesn't appear on the stats front, much difference between FSR 1 and 2. The blurriness difference is absolutely huge here and FSR 2 really looks quite clear in comparison. And I must say that the responsiveness felt much snappier. So although the stats up in the top left performance overlay do not look much different, the actual feel of the controls on FSR 2 were absolutely immense. And this will go to show in some of the gameplay here and I'll leave this running for a bit longer as it was just so much more responsive and much more enjoyable that I was actually able to get those kills in quite quickly and actually enjoy the game rather than being frustrated by laggy input. Let us know in the comments below how much of a difference you saw between these different modes and whether you're going to be diving in with FSR 2 and what game you'd like to see FSR 2 implemented in in future. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with all things Steam Deck, and we will see you next time.